one and on up, it doesn't make any difference. Now that's the only weight class that we actually get the true weight on these boxers. We are privileged to be joined here. Broadcast side by uh, one of the great boxing coaches, Al Mitchell. Al, thanks for stopping by. Glad to be here. Excellent show here. Excellent show. Good boxing. Let's talk about Whitaker and Manley. Two obviously gifted boxers, but this could be a brawl given their size. Definitely. Uh, my, my father always say go with the big man. Um, <laughs> Whitaker this last year really showed a lot of improvement. He was down in Cuba, and he lost, I believe it was 3-2, to two, and he shows that the um, the Olympic camps that have been working, the weight training program, the interval running and things that's working. Well, He's really coming on. The height differential is what you're referring to, 6'8", as opposed to 5'11". Can the 5'11 guy get inside to hurt the big guy? He have to get in there, but let's face it. In amateur boxing now, the tall man got the edge. Try to keep him the distance and the reach and stay behind that jab. Round one, Alota Morrison is the third man in the ring, the referee. And the bigger of these two fighters, and it's not tough to tell in terms of size-wise, is Lance Whitaker. In the red is Alvin Manley. That is a lot of tonnage in there right now. Coach Al Mitchell, you said always go with the big guy. They are both big guys in this ring. What do you tell Alvin Manley at 5'11 against the 6'8 Lance Whitaker? What do you tell him? Keep it in close. Keep, keep low. Keep the jab high upward to stop his right hand and work up and down and just let his hands go. Whitaker shoving Manley off as they separate. That was a left that was picked off by the gloves. I may be completely out in the woods on this, but I, I see Manley as having one direction that is straight ahead. I see him as an armored carrier. Well, straight ahead's okay as long as it's not south. <laughs> I don't expect it to be south. Although Whitaker's got that power. I mean, we have seen Whitaker go against the Russians and against Cuba on prime. And Whitaker delivers with power. Now, Whitaker is delivering with power here, although Manley slipped the left in there that might have picked up a point for him. But it's Whitaker who's trying now to uh, throw the combinations. Now, Manley came out real slow last night. In fact, he took two eight counts in his bout against Darvo Williamson, and then came back and won the bout. So he's not a quick starter, Ken. We talked about size, Coach. How do you rate these guys just as fighters? Well, I, I, I look at this, this Whitaker as a young George Farmer, a little more aggressive than he'd be right there. A um, little short manly. He got a box like Joe Frazier. You know, they don't score the hooks too much, you know. They, they, they want the straight shots. And for a short man to really work, he have to work with the hooks up and down. And a lot of times you might miss that. But the straight shots, you know you score. Man, this is a rematch of the 93 Golden Gloves Championship. Uh, Whitaker beat Manley then, so obviously each fighter, not only from training, but also from that, know each other, know their strengths. Manley certainly uh, would have had to have gone to school on that fight. Perhaps it'll help him here tonight. Coach, you've coached Whitaker before. We've talked about his stance. We said he boxed with straight legs, and he perhaps needs to bend his knees a little more. How do you feel he's coming along in that area? He's coming a lot, a lot better. But like you say, he, he needs to bend him more, especially when he's going up and down. He, he got a, a, a problem of just staying straight up, and he's not getting the power on his shots. Manley warned. Now the fight in round one continues. Half minute to go. And Whitaker scoring on a counter with a big left. Neither one of these guys are holding anything back. It was almost an open punch that landed on the side of the head of Manley. Good left hand by Whitaker. Whitaker's got the reach. I think if he can use his reach, he's going to have this bout under control. Nice right that got through and caught the side of Manley's head. Mm -hmm. There's a left that got in. It staggered Manley for a moment. And the bell to end round one. Tuesday night's Prime Sports hits the slopes with the ice-cold excitement of the snow zone. When the temperature drops, this action heats up. From radical rides to abandoned assaults, if you're into slipping and sliding, you're into the zone, the snow zone. So chill out in the snow zone, Tuesday nights, where you'll get ice-cold, ice-hard Prime Sports action. So, Bob, you're not the new kid on the block anymore. Feeling confident about this season? Well, I've been covering Husky Hoops for a lot of years uh, now. I was talking to the other Bob. Oh, sorry. Well, Bob, you must be pretty excited about sinking your teeth into a full season of Bender Ball. I sure am. I think this team's got great potential. Uh, I to... was talking to the other Bob. Oh, uh, sorry. 
Bob Bender and Bob Rondo sort out the Pac-10 and other stuff on Husky Hoops with Bob Bender, Wednesdays at 8 on Prime Sports. Super heavyweights, each boxing well over 201 pounds, each boxing for the right to go to the Pan American Games. In the red, Alvin Manley from Knoxville, Tennessee, Lance Whitaker in the blue from Northridge, California. And Whitaker with about a nine inch height advantage. Not to mention the reach on that. But Manley's neutralizing that reach by moving inside. And that's what we talk about. Whoever box stays style to win this bout. And the referee urging Manley to get the punches up. But that is quite a reach to get it up near the upper torso of Lance Whitaker. I can't help but think that, that Whitaker's coaches are saying, don't brawl, box, box. Def definitely, he got two good Spans coaches in it. What helped a man a lot is that little double jab getting him in there, a little high upper jab to stop the right hand. He's doing a great job for a short man. Now you can see the fatigue in both fighters as they move right above us. Manley is getting some blows into the side of Whitaker's head. Whitaker tries the body and separated once again by the referee. I tell you, there is still time to turn the tide in this particular bout. Is anybody's bout? Whitaker just standing there now, not moving right or left, but moving straight ahead and cashing it in on Manley. Manley fortunately turning out of that one. Yeah. A right found its way to the side of Manley's head. Another sneak peek at the scoring with 1.22 to go in this bout. Shows it very, very close. A couple of good scoring blows right there by Whitaker. They're important. It's who won it the most now. Yes, it is. I'm going to say right now, Coach, it's both conditioning and defense. I have to agree with you. And again, Alota Morris and the referee apparently taking a point away from that Alvin Manley. That hurt. That hurt. It was a one-point warning. They're going to give two points now to Lance Whitaker. That could have made the difference in his decision. Very much so. And Whitaker using the brief pause to buckle the legs of Manley. And again, catching him with a right that forces Manley back. Stopping the bat, Alota Morris is going to stop the bat. He could turn to Whitaker, who stuck his tongue out at Manley, and say, that's bad sportsmanship. We're not going to have that. Low blow there that uh, Manley got away with. And another right that snaps his head back. As Whitaker apparently now feels like he is in control of this fight. The left hand has come down below his waist. Whitaker is just a little bit... Oh, right that now. snapped it back. And Manley sticks his tongue out. What do we got going on here? I don't know. Big old right that misses by Manley. Then he tries to sneak a left in. And a right from Whitaker that snaps Manley's head again. And Whitaker is boxing right now, and that's serving him very well. Every Pinch. time he used that little distance, that one, two, catch Manley right on the chin. Ten seconds to go, and now Whitaker is urged to keep his mouth shut by the referee Morrison. About time. Final seconds of this super heavyweight bout. It's all over, and they continue to punch after the bell. Alvin Manley and that man, Lance Whitaker, have put on a show here in Portland. It's got the crowd on its feet. Manley playing to the crowd. A lot of taunting in this third round. Well, there was a lot of throwing and a lot of reaching. Some of it effective, some of it not so effective. And a lot oh. of misses. But the more you throw, the more you're going to connect, too, as we saw on the left hand by Lance Whitaker. <laughs> they was just taunting each other to show who was the better man, that's all. The winner on the right to represent the United States in the super heavyweight 100, 200 plus pound class in the Pan American Games in Argentina, in the blue corner, Lance Whitaker. Whitaker is the winner. Mixed reviews from the crowd, but winning on points almost two to one.